Hi, I'm Dr. Julie Pham, the author of The Seven Forms of Respect. I'm going to guide you through defining how you want respect and why. Check out this two minute video that shows the different ways that we can interpret the same action. I'm Dr. Julie Pham, and I've developed The Seven Forms of Respect, a framework to help you understand respect. There is no one way to interpret respect. Learn how the seven forms of respect can help you navigate this complexity. We can interpret the same statements differently, and it's okay that we do. Here are examples with each form of respect. This is how I want you to do the job. I can't believe she's telling me how to do my job. I really like how clear she is with her expectations. I just have to remind you, we only have five minutes left for this meeting. I feel like I'm being rushed. I appreciate how mindful she is of my time. I'm gonna copy you on all of the emails so that you know what's going on. I just hate getting all these extra emails. I really appreciate being kept in the loop like this. Have you thought about taking a different approach to this work? I can't believe that she's challenging my work. Who does she think she is? She's so committed to making the process better. I didn't ask you for your help because I know how busy you are and I just didn't want to overwhelm you. I still wanted to be asked, even if I was going to say no. She is so observant about what my needs are. You were doing such an awesome, amazing, great job. Did she expect anything less than great? Why does she have to keep telling me how great I am? I really appreciate how passionate and excited she is about my work. I am focused on our conversation. Let me know what you're thinking. I feel a lot of pressure to talk here. I just wish that she would talk more so I don't have to talk as much. I can't believe how attentive and focused she is. Respect is relative. Visit formsofrespect.com. After you watch these examples, when did you feel respected versus disrespected? Did your interpretation change depending on who you are interacting with? For example, how would you feel about the same action if it were to come from your boss or your peer or someone who reports to you. Share your reflections in the comments below and also share this video with anyone who you think would benefit from thinking about how respect can be interpreted differently.